Hello and welcome to the JavaScript Essentials for Modern Web Development course by Pact Publishing. I am Dimitris Lukas and I will be guiding you through a course that will set you up for the complex needs of modern web development with JavaScript. In this video I will present you the course material and everything you need to know to prepare for future videos. We will begin with a general introduction to some of the hardest parts of JavaScript, after some important theory and explanations about complicated topics like closures and this keyword, we will move to explore ES 2019 and other new features that come to the language's specification. Moving on, we will work with some functional programming concepts and study the reactive extensions library. With functional programming in your toolkit, you will move on to asynchronous concepts like promises, callbacks and async await. After that, we will study module systems like CommonJS, AMD, UMD, and the latest ES6 modules. We will work with Webpack and build our application bundles. In the next section, it will be time for inter-process communication and child processes, while in the last one, we will move on to advanced Node.js process management with PM2 and microservices. In order to complete this course, you will need to have at least some basic experience with JavaScript. You should know how to declare variables and functions, write for loops, classes and objects. You don't need to have advanced JavaScript knowledge, but ideally you should have heard of closures, arrow functions and the like. If you've had problems dealing with them in the past, even better. Some experience with Node.js would be great too. You should be able to understand the basic Express or COA application, which brings us to the third prerequisite, that is MVC and the web. If you come from a desktop only or mobile only environment, and you've never heard of terms like MVC or RESTful APIs, it will be harder to go through the course. Not impossible though. Finally, some experience with modern front-end developer tools like Angular, React or Vue would be desirable. In order to get the most out of this course, first make sure you have the following setup. You can watch this course on any operating system running any code editor or IDE. However, Visual Studio Code is indeed highly recommended. Make sure that the latest version of Node.js is installed along with NPM for installing project dependencies. This course supports Node.js version 10, but version 12 is recommended. Next, a global webback installation will make things easier for when we start compiling bundles. And finally, we use Docker to set up a MongoDB database in one of the examples. You don't need to be familiar with either technology, it would just help having Docker installed beforehand. After finishing this course, you will have all the required knowledge to write and debug code fast due to deep understanding of the hardest parts of JavaScript you will be able to write elegant functional code with no side effects. And of course, you will be able to organize and build from scratch complex service-oriented web applications and even microservices. So let's get right into it. 